What's up, everybody? It's live, 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 live with Prat 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 Chat. Today we're talking the Tomorrow War, the Tomorrow War, the Tomorrow War, the Yesterday. No, the Tomorrow War. You've seen the trailer. You've seen the teaser. You heard the hype. You know it's real. The Tomorrow War. Check, chickity, check, 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 chickity, check my face. Yep, yep, yep. Instagram filter on point. Also, hair styled by Bridget Brager. Right here. Boom. She's going to be listening to all this. Also, we got Annie. We got Allison. What's up? You want to know where I am? I'm actually backstage at Ellen. That's right. That's where I do my chats. Deal with it. We're going to be talking about the Tomorrow War. I'm going to get in your 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 uh, your questions. And honestly, AMA. That means ask me anything. Boom. Someone said, hello, Pratt. Hello to you. D.N. Scalician. I'm going to be bringing someone on pretty soon. A dear friend of mine. But first, let's see here. Oh, there's Tim Kennedy. What's up, bro? Probably off defending the country. There we are, right there. I got someone I'm going to be... I'm going to be bringing... Should I just bring someone on right now? The first person I'm going to bring on is a cast member. You know this man, if you've been a fan of Veep. He is truly the funniest dude in the world. I love him so much. He has a bunch of great one-liners in the film and does an awesome job. He's such a stud. I'm bringing him on right now. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. (laughs) I don't know how to do this. Hey, man. I just sent him a message. I don't know if that helps. Boom. I'm going live with this fella right now. He's going to join me, and we're going to have the most amazing time. Hello. What's up, Sam? Hello. Uh Dude, you're looking good. What have you been doing? Oh, just, you know, uh, uh, doing my hair and, like, trying to look pretty. (laughs) It works. It works. I like it. Oh, thank you. you. Oh, my God. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, too, dude. It's so good to see you. I'm in Atlanta right now. Actually, so, where we? Oh, you're back in the ATL. That's nice. That's uh. I'm back in the uh, ATL. The ATL is what we call uh, Atlanta, and it's where we shot the Tomorrow War. Yeah, sorry. That's that's inside lingo. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you're working now down in Atlanta. I am. Yeah, I'm uh, filming a new movie called uh, Senior Year. Uh, uh, it's a Netflix movie. It'll be out, prob- I'm assuming, next year, which would be some people's senior year. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's old stomping grounds. That's it. That's it. The old stomping grounds. You know, we were in Atlanta. It was pre-pandemic. Be- weirdly, like we yes. caught the ta- the pandemic was just starting as we wrapped the movie. And some people think that mm-hmm. that the pandemic was happening while we were shooting the movie because so many of the press stills that came out like paparazzi shots i was wearing a mask if you remember during the yes. during the process of filming i was wearing a mask because i have sensitive little lungs and some of the smoke on set was really uh Ooh. causing me to have lung issues yeah the, 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 uh, anybody looking at those photos would be like oh this had to have been filmed in the middle of march yes but no it's just a coincidence yeah just a coincidence how have you talked to anybody how have they been uh uh responding or reacting to the trailer so far people love the trip my like my instagram uh uh my my dms and my my i call them oms my outer messages have been uh have been lit up with people just so, so excited for this movie because you know it's like the old style not, not old style new style but just a big action movie which yeah you know you, you people get excited about i'm excited about it yeah, it, it is. It's, I, it's been a. I was trying to think about it too because it's. It's first of all, it's hard to have any. It seems hard to have any objectivity when you're kind of dealing in this and you're watching a trailer that your own your own face is in. You like you wonder if you can really watch it uh, from an outside perspective. However, I think I'm I'm gaining more and more of it, getting a little more comfortable the more of these things I do. But I watch this trailer and I think, and having seen the movie, I think this kind of a movie really only comes around like once, maybe in a. 10 years or something like it's it's it hits on every note it's really fun and funny and big and heartfelt it feels like in the vein of like independence day Mm -hmm. or you know i i and i think that people and i and i'm so 
grateful, obviously, to be working with Amazon and be partnered with Amazon as, as a distributor as a distributor on this thing. And we made this movie before the pandemic and had every intention of this movie being in the big screen. So this is like, yeah, you know, this is this is the full throttle varsity quality movie. You know what I mean? I think like, and I say that because yes. to, and I think I can say this, like you go on these streamers and a lot of the shit sucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, right. you're like, all right, well, it's kind of basically kind of free. Let's just watch something. But like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, stuff. This is like, this is like a, a major league baseball player playing in the little leagues. Like it's such a slamming freaking fantastic movie. So I'm super pumped. I, I really expect that it's going to be a great yeah. moment for everyone to watch it. And, and you can watch it in your underwear, which is kind of cool. I think so, too. Yeah. You really can. Here's my tip. Uh, I don't know if you have, like, an Oculus Quest, but Amazon Prime has an app where it's, like, a movie theater. in Whoa. the. So it's, like, you can watch all Amazon stuff, like, in a, your own movie theater. And this movie oh. would go so well in that. Whoa, that's what you got to get. Amazon Prime, get the, get the, get the, get the Amazon Prime app has the Oculus. What is it? The Oculus? The, see, the, the Oculus Quest, in fact, I mean, this is the biggest plug, but like this is the Oculus Quest. You put this thing on and then you just go into a little movie theater in there and you can watch it. And it's like you're in your own private theater. Wow. One of these bad boys. Bro, bro, that's so cool. Do you have that? Am I gonna put it on? Because it's just a prop. But yeah. <laughs> well, do you have the boxing game for that? <laughs> the Oculus, isn't there like a boxing game? I do. Uh, the the Creed one. Dope. I want to. I want to play that game. So yeah, I heard it's, it's pretty really good. cool. <laughs> All right, listen. I think I'm gonna go and uh, and I have to let you go because I know you have a, another engagement thing to go to. Uh, I'm gonna oh, get some more of the cast members. I lost on. track of time. And uh, man, I just love you. Yeah. You're so funny and you're so great in the movie. Every everyone who watches it is like you're just like their favorite character. And I knew it. I knew it. I've been a huge fan of yours for so long. You're so funny, and I just I know so many people in the world agree with me, and others have never met you. And to that, I, I'm almost jealous of them because like it's so you only get to meet Sam Richardson once, and I'd be so thrilled if they get to meet you in this movie because you're just <laughs> fucking awesome in it. Uh, dude, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to get to do this. It was an amazing experience to get to do it with you. You're, you're such an amazing, funny, and like charismatic, brilliant guy and actor. That was this, this, uh, an absolute dream. So thank you so much. And I will see and talk oh, to you very soon. My pleasure. <laughs> awesome, buddy. Can't wait. All right, we'll see you down the road. All right, buddy. Bye. See you, buddy. All right, now we're going to go watch this. Help me out. I'm, I'm, you, you go ahead and do your thing. I'll continue vamping. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I started parting my hair to the side. It's a little long, and you're probably wondering why. It's because I'm doing the terminal, which is also an Amazon joint. The terminal list. How do I add for this? Oh, I think you go like this. You go add. Oh, wait. These. Yeah. These, yes. And then. Okay, and here we go. Here we go. Ready? Sending out some requests. Got a few more friends uh, to join joining me. Boom, boom. Ow! What's up, Key Jasmine Edwards? Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, <laughs> What's happening? This is the face. This is the face. Uh, just so you know, first of all, I love that on Instagram we can have this uh, four-way conversation going yeah, on. This is nice. Fire. But the, this is uh, the future. This is truly the future. I mean... It's the 2051 future, but it's also the 2021 future. I'm looking at three mega rising stars and uh, so grateful to be to have been able to work with the three of you on this uh, awesome movie. Let's just dive into it. What did you guys think of the trailer? I loved it. Incredible. Like, incredible. Really? I, <laughs> I've, I mean, I've watched the movie, obviously, but I think Amazon is doing a great job with giving us a little bit but not giving us the full story yeah. it's right. epic though oh epic. yeah I, re I noticed that we've seen the alien from um 100 feet away 200 feet away we didn't get too close yet yes I right love that. yeah i'm just yeah. gonna third everything they just said um <laughs> I, I uh 
I, I mean, the trailer gives you just enough uh, to leave you you wanting to see more. So, um, yeah. yeah, I think the audience will be very, very happy with what they what they see. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I yeah, I agree. And have you had people like friends, family reaching out and talking to you guys about this? Are they excited for it? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Anxiety with all the messages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, weird enough, I got a buddy named Pratt who's like super into like aliens and sci-fi. Oh really? And I, he was he was asking me like, Keith, man, I need to see the trailer. I'm like, I ain't got it, man. Got it. You gotta see it tomorrow. <laughs> so I woke up in the morning, I sent it to him. He was like, I already watched it like ten times. So I'm like, <laughs> I was like, okay, for sure. But nah, everyone is super excited. I'm super excited. I mean, of course, obviously, I've seen it as well, and it's just fun. I think that that's that's the beauty of what we did. It, 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 we got the aliens, we got the drama, but it's fun. Yeah, and it's yeah. a fun watch, and that's what I mean. That's what we want. We especially nowadays, it's a lot. You know, we're getting a lot of heavy stuff these days. So to get something that's fun and just you know sit there where you could just enjoy it, like you said, in your boxers in your front room on Amazon, it's the best. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it's a serious yeah. adventure. It's an epic adventure. You it know, is. It's, uh, it's going to take people out of their world for about two hours. And um, I mean, I, I, I got to say, honestly, you, you've never seen any alien like this alien. This alien is crazy. Ever. 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 You've never nope. seen an alien like this ever. So um, I, I, I'd like to, to say I'm happy to be on this film, Chris, because you, you guys created the ultimate alien. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. I mean, there there were actually some moments in, in the film that I even forgot certain things. And I was like, oh, for shit. sure. Wait, what? <laughs> I got scared. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wait. I turn the lights on. Did you do that too? Oh, Dude. man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember the, for the stairwell scene. I won't give it away that that stairwell yeah. scene. Like, I, I was watching it. Yeah, I think I saw like the first mix before they had done all the temp. All they they only had temp music, but they had done the the visit facts, and I was seeing some of it. I legit like screamed like a like <laughs> like a scared <laughs> kind of scream. Yeah, it, it it got me. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. that reveal yeah. was really good. Yeah, really it good. It was. It really was. Really good. Yeah. Job really well good. done. Feels like the return of the summer blockbuster. Yep, this it does. Good. Yeah, for sure. It really does. It feels like that. And I mean, like, that was like, and I'd said this with Sam, but that was like always our intention, man, was to make a great, big, you know, fun, epic movie for everybody. And yeah. I feel like that's what we did. And, and and thankfully, I know I know some theaters are opening back up and that's really great. And there's like great movies coming down the pipe that I'm excited about. Like my friend John Krasinski has got A Quiet Place 2 coming out. Like I'm excited about that from theaters. I love that. And so I love that the theaters are opening back up. And I know that there's some people are still a little apprehensive to go back. And so I think this is kind of struck just the right, the right timing with Amazon being able to stream it to essentially everyone around the world at the same time. We'll get that kind of summer movie uh, feeling that's like, everyone's going to be talking about it on Monday. You know what I mean? At the office or on zoom or whatever. It's like, that's, that's what we hope. Everybody's going to talk about it and then go see it again. You know, when they get home after work, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the yeah. plan. That's yeah. the plan. People are going to be watching it on their Zoom call with, like, looking down in the corner as they watch it. <laughs> 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 you can with the loudest speakers. Someone named Owen Shanahan, 1138, said, what are we talking about? That's a good question. We're talking about the Tomorrow War. <laughs> Tomorrow yeah. War. Amazon Prime Video on July 2nd. Um I'm going to answer a few of these questions. If you guys see any that you want to answer, you can scroll through and pick them. Do you have you? Are you able to see them too? Okay, yeah. But, yeah. but I'm a scaredy cat, so are they a lot of jump scares? There's a few. I'm a there's scaredy a, cat too. There are. There's a couple. Yeah. There's a few. Yeah. There's a couple. There's a couple. But I wouldn't. I would say some scary moments, but it's not one of those films that relies on the scary moments. So even if you remove the scary moments, it'd still be a great film. So I think there's a lot of stuff for you if you're into like, you know, a movie that can move you emotionally or for the fun or the action. There's a couple in there though, so beware. Um, Somebody said, when is the movie coming out? Loop dot zero six <laughs> underscore. July 2nd. Second. That's very go. important. That's, that's, that's a great Amazon question. Video, July <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. What do you guys, you got anything else? I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. Nah, trailer was awesome, thank you. Uh, what's the background story of you guys' character? Mm. 
I don't that know. One, that we, 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 we can't we can't get that one away. <laughs> gotta watch, gotta watch. Y'all, y'all gotta have to watch the movie. <laughs> how, how was filming the movie? That's a good question. Uh, filming the movie uh, was as epic as the movie is. Um, yeah. you, you know, we we kind of just shut down Atlanta, ran all over the place, and yep. then um, we, we had a beautiful experience in uh, in Iceland. Got to shoot on a glacier, so. Um, yeah, there's some some beautiful moments, some some life changing experiences, but all in all, this fun was a, a, just an absolute pleasure to shoot. Absolutely, it was a dream, honestly. Yeah, for literally sure. a dream. I don't know about you guys though. I had to go to a chiropractor after we were there. <laughs> <laughs> My chiropractor was like, "What have you been doing?" <laughs> no, I, yeah, I need to go to the chiropractor. My my body is wrecked right now. But, uh, Hold on, Edwin. Edwin, your sister asked the question. She said, "Best part about filming in Iceland." The best part of ooh, I see. I can't even mention <laughs> that. Like the best. Well, actually, there's two two moments. Uh, Aurora Borealis. I got to I got to witness that in real life. Um, that was absolutely amazing. And there is a a particular um, huge moment that that happens on the glacier that was. I mean, it was insane. And when you guys see it in the film, you'll understand what the heck I'm talking about. Dude. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Did you guys remember in Iceland they found those people down in the crevice, like the from 1918 or something? <laughs> I didn't know about that. Yeah, I heard about that. There was like a couple uh, that yeah. like went hiking and they just never came back and they just found them right before we made the movie. So they're like, you're going to want to avoid some crevices. For instance. <laughs> <laughs> Like, okay, good. I was right. on the trail. Maybe that's just something they tell you to stay on the trail. I, I would hope so. I, I would hope so. Because uh, <laughs> uh, there were some very dangerous moments on this film. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we yeah. got through yeah. it safely, though. So, yeah. all is well that ends well. Someone here says it has an Edge of Tomorrow Terminator vibe, mm. which is cool. I could, you know, I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. There's like, you know, some parallels for sure. Um, yeah. It's funny, you mentioned Terminator. My father-in-law is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and yep. I, the other day I wanted to show him the trailer before it came out, and so I couldn't get it to beam up on the TV. So we were watching it on on the phone, and I realized that in the trailer, my character says, "I will be back." You back. <laughs> and I was like, "It is the lame. Like I'm showing the king of I'll be back. Me being like stumbling through. I I will be back. Like like it's the, the, the most." Oh, oh, it was tough. I'm like, oh, uh, man, I'm showing, I'm showing the Terminator. I mean, what, what, what was the overall out. impression of the trailer? Though? He loved like, it. He was like, that's fantastic. That's, he said, that's amazing. He and said that's he loved that it. Matters. That was fantastic. And he thought that, like, it, it, and it's true. Every one, any movie like this is always rooted in the relationships. Like, yep. who are yeah. these characters and who, uh, what is their relationships? What are their relationships? What are they like? And how, do, how does this story have an effect on those relationships? You can have all the money and cgi and big epic you know world building all of that stuff it doesn't really matter if you don't care about the the hearts of these people and the people yep. to whom they're connected and and so i it, that comes across in the trailer and it really comes across in the movie i think so not to pat myself on the back or whatever but i think give yourself a couple pats yeah, no, okay. yeah okay. we can do it for you <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice somebody oh. said is it a katie stuffed Asked, is it a family movie? Yes, of yes, course. Very much Super family movie. The whole yeah, you, yep. yes. you Bring up 100%. your ancestors if you can. Like, just go ahead, dig them up too, and then see if they want to watch the movie as well. Just pop them on the couch with you. Just <laughs> pop them right there on the couch with you. It's a, it's a full family. The small world. <laughs> it's the truth. And then someone said, someone asked Keith, what's that skincare routine? Oh yeah, but what is it? Drop it, yeah. drop, drop it for us, Keith. Come on, yeah, Keith. Uh, <laughs> luck, luck, luck. Yeah. Um, Age. jeans and water. Uh huh. No more soda, no more soda. But I, I do dibble and dab on some alcohol, so I'm not gonna act like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Have a few beers, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of water for sure. Uh, that's hilarious. Skin routine. Skin routine. <laughs> Awesome. Well, All right. Um. Any any uh any kind of closing thoughts for our audience members, guys, before we uh wrap up this Pratt chat, the Tomorrow War. Just we just hope that you watch it and enjoy it and love it and keep watching it. Uh, when you when you feeling down, just be like, I'm gonna watch the Tomorrow War. 
you know? Like, that's what I just really is. I want it, you know, we want it to resonate in homes. You know, that's yeah. the best movies to me. Yeah. yeah. And, the, you know, there's something in it for everybody. You want to laugh, turn this movie on. You want to cry, turn this movie on. Mm -hmm. You want to get scared a little, turn this movie on. Um, so just tune in. And we thank you for your support already. And Chris, I want to say it was an amazing like time working with you and yes. you're so humble and, and personable and I just cannot mm -hmm. thank you enough. Oh, thanks, Jasmine. Thank you. Great. Thank I got I gotta follow the both of you guys. That's that's amazing. Uh so <laughs> now I I will I will just say that uh this film it, it, it has a lot of heart and um there's an ama amazing message behind it all. Um amongst the action and the, the gunshots and, and what's so forth. Um it is a story about about family and kind of the links one would go to 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 save them. So, um, you know, look at your dear member next to you, and and when you watch this movie, you'll understand how much you love them. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. uh, if we had to fight this war tomorrow, I'm not sure. We I'm, 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 I'm not to, sure. I'm going to hide. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna hide. Like I'm out of there. I'm out. I'm done. So yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't buy that for a second. <laughs> I don't buy that. I know. Right, Evan, I'm coming to your house. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I just hope that we're never in a situation where me and Ed would have to outrun the thing. Because, dude, I, while I finish on this anecdote, we're doing this running scene down the down like the the street in Atlanta. And I, and we're running and and I'm like really going all out like I'm doing sprints all day, and then they were like, hey, for one, why don't you guys just really pick it up? And everyone goes, I could. Do you want me to like kind of pick it up into a slightly higher gear? And I was like, and I was like, yeah, yeah, do that, you know, like. And and so we start running, and he kicks it in the gear. It was, it's like Hussein Bolt, dude. I was like, what? How do you? What the? You straight up, dude. You, I was. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, bro. I was running my Hell was saving that. And you just kicked it into a gear that I, I was like, it was like Roadrunner. You know what I mean? I couldn't believe it. It was like beep, Wiley Coyote just sitting there like, beep, oh, beep. That's all dude. I got to say. Beep, beep, man. Yeah, you, that alien would definitely have my ass. And you, you'd be like, I'm out. I'll tell you a story. Bing. Out of there. All right, guys, I love you, man. It was so great. Love you back. Thank you, Thank you Chris. Chris. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you in person, give you a big uh, smile. And I'm telling you guys, give all, give all three of these folks a follow and just check out their projects. They have so much, so much going on, and it's been a real pleasure to get to know them. I can't wait for you all to get to know them as well. And uh, see the Tomorrow War, July 2nd, Amazon Prime Video. All right, love you guys. All right, Chris. Thank you. All right, Jasmine. All right, Edwin. All right, man. See y'all. Bye, Bye. I end it right there. Yes. Yep.